my friends. Today I'm going to discuss pineapple sage, Salvia elegans. Um, it's one of 700 species of mint uh, in the mint family. And I'm getting this information from Wikipedia and Wisconsin Horticulture Society. Uh, Uh, Salvia elegans is a species with several varieties that include pineapple sage and tangerine sage. So in looking this up, it's the first time I heard of tangerine sage. I have heard of pineapple sage and other sages. So I'm going to be looking for that one because it sounds fantastic. It's a perennial shrub native to Mexico in the Lamiaceae family, like mint. The pineapple sage has tubular red flowers and a scent of pineapple. So as you can see, if it would focus, it's got tubular flowers. They have an upright growth habit with leafy stems that grow up to four to five feet high by fall. So let me go over here and show you. So it's quite tall and yes, it's right now about three to four feet. Um, hummingbirds are attracted to these plants as well as butterflies because their mouth parts can fit into these tubular flowers. That kind of, if you've ever looked, a butterfly can kind of like unfurl its tongue and stick it right in the flowers. And it is a short day plant in flowers in August or later where there isn't any frost. It may flower until spring even. The honey melon variety blooms earlier. Salvia elegans tangerine sage has bronze edged leaves and a citrus scent and grows to about half as tall as the pineapple sage. However, it blooms in the summer, so it blooms a little bit earlier. Pineapple sage blooms in the fall. The roots of Salvia elegans forms a large clump as it gets established. The yellow green leaves are veined and covered with fine hairs. So it is a little bit fuzzy. So when you touch it, you can feel that it's a, a tiny bit fuzzy. Six to 12 red flowers grow in a bunch with a long inflorescence bloom time. With a hard frost, the plant will die down to the ground and returns the following spring. It is a perennial plant in zones one, um, eight through 11, I believe. Phytochemistry. The essential oils of S. elegans consists of caffeic acid, rosmarinic acid, salvianolic acid, and flavones. Uses. The leaves and flowers of S. elegans are edible. The plant is used in Mexican traditional medicine for anxiety and hypertension. The benefits. It can be used medicinally as an antidepressant and anti-anxiety property and will balance the nervous system. It is used extensively in Mexican traditional medicine and for treating anxiety and helps with digestion as it settles an upset stomach, for heartburn, and as a general tonic. Care. Once established, it has low water needs. Grow pineapple sage in full sun in moist, well-draining soil. If it's too dry, the leaves will curl and plants will wilt. Keep the plant evenly watered to prevent leaf drop. Plants may be pinched when young to produce more branching for denser growth. It's hardy in zones 8 through 11 and it's annual in cooler zones than that. Uses. It can be used in a tea. Some say it helps with memory loss as well and it was introduced in 1807 as an ornamental plant. Taste. The flowers don't have much flavor but for a tiny bit of nectar in the flowers. The fresh leaves smell like pineapple, but has a leafy herb taste. 
S. elegans is a semi-woody to herbaceous shrub with an open habit that are susceptible to wind damage, often breaking off at the base. The leaves are opposite ovate and two to four inches long with serrated edges. And a fluffy appearance, a fuzzy appearance. This sub shrub may grow five feet tall to three feet wide. It is fast growing. The flowers are followed by small dark colored football shaped seeds that fall out of the calyx within a few days of fully ripening. Flowers bloom from bottom to top. That makes sense because it'll keep growing um, over time. Often pineapple sage are grown for their bright green foliage rather than their fruit. It can be grown in an herb garden but does well in pots to move about and over winter. Pineapple sage prefers full sun. Old woody shoots may be removed when new shoots appear. It has few pests and deer do not like to eat them. It is susceptible to aphids, mealybugs, and spider mites in greenhouses. Leaves may be used as a garnish or in a salad or for potpourri, jams, and jellies. Some cultivars are Frida Dixon, which has a salmon pink flower and not red like this one. Golden Delicious, which has bright chartreuse leaves and grows one to three feet tall with bright red flowers. Or Scarlet Pineapple, produces more and bigger flowers with medium green foliage. So I bought this as a little um, $6 plant or $8 plant from Lowe's um, a year ago and I stuck it in here where I have I had lots of brassicas and what happened was I wanted some kind of flowering plant to draw uh, pollinators and also I had a blue colored salvia that ended up dying so I wanted to protect it in here because in the winter I put a plastic cover over this whole bed and it keeps it protected and it did well and it has so many branches down there I don't know if you can see several branches like it said it clumps really a uh, large clump of roots at the bottom and for that reason it has many stems so I can actually divide this because it's a perennial in this zone um, and I can divvy it up to other people and it does smell lovely and recently what I did was and that's why I'm making this video I tried one of the flowers because I saw that someone had was eating a different kind of salvia flower and I tried it just to see what it tasted like and it's slightly sweet and at the very end you get kind of like a minty pineapple taste and it's really really fantastic you have to kind of search for it but it's there and if you just brush your hands over the leaves or if you walked past a path that was lined with these it would smell really fantastic so um, I'm going to start harvesting these for tea and because I have so much of it and in the winter I'm going to start to divide it out or in the late late fall um, because it's right now we're having a heat wave and I don't want these plants to die so I'm just gonna kind of let it keep growing until then and over time I will transplant it out to a different part of the garden so I can use this um, garden bed for other vegetables and herbs so hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you grow yourself some pineapple sage I am now on the hunt for the tangerine sage because that sounds fantastic a salvia that smells like tangerines uh, that sounds so good and it's good therapeutically because I do feel like 
I need moments where I can calm down and not be anxious and um, if this is just a tiny little inexpensive uh, thing to harvest and make a tea out of so that I can enjoy it and get some medicinal use out of it I will definitely do that so with that I hope you grab yourself some beautiful pineapple sage and grow some of your own have a great day and see you in the next one please like subscribe and share